Welcome back. Our old friend Laura Ling is here. She has a new show on a new network. It is called, the show is called Rituals. It focuses on people who are achievers and how the rituals in their lives help them thrive and survive. When I play sports, I don't feel different. I don't think about anything else. I just think about what's happening in the game. Would you say sports have become a ritual for you? Yes, because I feel like if I don't play sports every day, I feel weird. Oh, we, know, we know this kid, we Ezra. Know Ezra. Yes, yes, he's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so great. His parents are amazing. He is the most inspiring young man. Yes. And that's really what this series is about. It's meant to inspire people. Um, it stemmed from my experience in North Korea, actually. All right, folks, you remember, you were in North Korea, you crossed the line. We don't know how you, why you crossed the line. W uh, were you deliberately made to cross the line? Uh, no, I mean, that was a whole yeah. situation. So there you were, maybe facing years and years of hard labor. I was um, held captive in North Korea, and I started practicing this ritual. And it was very simple. It was just practicing the act of gratitude. And for and you, so this, was, this was survival. This was trying to get through each day without dipping into a deep depression. Absolutely. And so I would think about something that happened in that day. So I'd say I like heard what? I heard some I heard my guard sing some music today, and that I feel lucky and that I feel grateful so for. So you find something you could be. And I was able to maintain hope and get on to the next day. And so I wanted to to create the series where we could feature people whose rituals have helped them overcome obstacles or achieve success, and just be you know something that could be offer a lot of inspiration to people. Mm -hmm. It's a real passion project of mine. Is there a common thread with these people? I know. A lot of people turn to sports or exercise or meditation, and uh, they're all across the board. Right. Some people, you know, for real high achievers, it's how can I get into that zen zone, that flow state, so that's been really interesting. Art as therapy or just art as a ritual. Uh, we interviewed um, Mike Shinoda, the founder of Lincoln Park, and he right. talks about art and not just his music, but his drawing and his paintings mm. as being a, something that he th he thrives on his ritual. And is this something you have to do every day to make it a ritual? It's not every day, but it's a regular practice. And wow. it's, you know, gratitude is something that I continue to practice what today. Are we seeing Your here? babies. Gratitude that's my family. Day. Yeah. I Reading to my kids, day. that's another ritual. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is my episode where I talk about the motivation for the series and the gratitude that I practice in North Korea and the gratitude that I continue to practice. Now, today. was that something that you just suddenly learned, had a revelation in North Korea, or was it something you were doing before? It was not something that I did before. And it really happened when a guard walked in and she started humming a tune. And I hadn't heard music. And it just sounded so beautiful to me. And even though I'm sure it was some communist propaganda song. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but just the music. And I just said, wow, I feel really grateful that I heard that today. And so ah. then it became, I feel lucky I saw a butterfly outside my window, even though I can't go outside or breathe the fresh right. air. And so that really changed my way of thinking, whereas before I thought everything was just consumed by negativity. Negative, 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 negative. Of course. Right. And we can apply this every day. I think so, and that's yeah. what I hope the series does, mm -hmm. that it just offers these little nuggets of ins yeah. inspiration. Mm. Also, also the gift of gratitude. It's the greatest gift in the world. I think we should all practice yeah. it. And we yeah. all have it. <laughs> okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Great to see you, Laura Lang. You can watch our ritual, SeekerNetwork.com.